You are now listening to Scheduling Fate, hosted by author and counseling astrologer, Jamie McGee. For more information, please go to schedulingfate.com. Hi there, and welcome to Scheduling Fate. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the astrology for February 2nd through the 8th. We are still working with a lot of Aquarian energy stepping into the new story of our life. So let's take a look at the transits that we'll be working with, and then we'll dive into the signs. Now, the first transit of the week is Mercury moving into Aquarius. Every Mercury and Aquarian that I know is able to see thousands of miles down the road. They can see every detail, every connection. And they're brilliant in seeing how those pieces work together. And it helps them avoid issues, but it also helps them pave a smoother, healthier path for everyone to follow. So I'm pretty excited about how this energy is going to work with us. Mercury and Aquarius combines the traits of communication and intellect with that unconventional and curious nature, giving us a very visionary and intellectual time that we can work with. Once Mercury opens the door to Aquarius, the first conversation that it will have is going to be with Pluto. This aspect blends Mercury's communication and intellect with this intensity and transformational power of Pluto. This suggests that this transit will supply an intense mental focus that goes deep beyond the surface and a powerful drive to communicate concepts and ideas that we feel passionate about, especially concepts and ideas that are fixed in our nature and our soul. The next transit of the week is Venus square the North Node. Now, last week we had Mars and Mercury square all of these points. And now this week, Venus, who's just a little bit behind those planets, is starting to ask questions and see things a little bit differently. So we have Venus square the North Node. This can either mean action or tension. It depends on your perspective and how you approach this. But the question is, how can you, in a practical way, follow your heart towards your faith, towards your destiny, towards this karma that you are working with? And we'll talk more about that with each of the signs. And the next transit is Venus in trine with Uranus. So Venus is in practical Capricorn in flow with what Uranus is doing in Taurus. So it it harmonizes traditional values and relationships, maybe something around our values and our finances, Venus in Capricorn with the desire for innovation and change, Uranus in Taurus. It facilitates unexpected but positive developments when it comes to things that we value, love and money matters. And it encourages a stability as we embrace a progressive changing situation that we are working with. Now, the next transit of the week is Mars sextile Neptune. So Mars is still in a very grounded sign of Capricorn. It's looking for some very, it's looking for some insights, some suggestions, really pulling from something that is not yet concrete, but more so in that imaginative field. So this is a great time to lean into your intuition. Mars is still in a very grounded sign of Capricorn and Neptune is in Pisces. This energy suggests that you're going to have the opportunity to consider something that has not taken form and think about how you can bring it into form, what courage and action that you will need to do that. Now, the next transit of the week is Sun Square Uranus, which could bring a little bit of excitement and edge to the week. It indicates a tension or an action point between that Aquarian desire for change and individuality and that Taurian urge for stability and practicality. In a way, it's going to challenge integrating sudden changes and unconventional ideas altogether, Uranus and Taurus. With that, we can expect that this aspect may challenge integrating sudden changes and unconventional ideas, that's Uranus and Taurus, with a core sense of self and purpose, which is the sun and Aquarius. There's going to be a little bit of a blend there. You may be motivated to take action, or you may feel like you're having to react to an action, but it should be interesting. With that being said, let's get ready to dive into the signs. Please be sure to listen to both your sun sign and your rising sign. Hi, Aquarius. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Aquarius, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, your vitality and self-expression, two, your roots and your foundations, and three, endings and beginnings. There's a pivotal change that you're still trying to implement at every corner of your life. Now, let's talk about why. This week, we have Mercury moving into your sign. So this is going to give you a lot of ideas, a lot of inspiration, ways to think outside of the box more than you may normally do. And better yet, it's going to give you a way to voice 
these ideas that you have. Now, the first conversation that Mercury has once it enters your sign is so thinking profoundly and deeply about the breakthrough changes that you're working with are very likely. This week, you may find that your heart is getting ready to follow where your mind and your courage went the week before. And that's coming from Venus. Now, Venus is working behind the scenes. Either your heart is questioning the path of fate before you or it feels ready to take action on it. Or it could be a little bit of both. There's always a tense moment before we step out into a new path. So you want to lean into your heart, the practical ideas, but trust that you have everything that you need to step out there. And I think Uranus is going to help you with that energy because Venus is going to be in trine with your ruling planet. And that's at your foundations and your roots. What this suggests is that you're going to find that at that foundational level, you have everything you need to step out on this adventure ahead of you. And as we end the week, you may find that you are feeling extra motivated. Your sun sign is going to be activating your ruling planet again at your foundation. So there could be some shifts, some unexpected breakthroughs, which which you may love, or you may find yourself having to adjust to. Either way, the invitation is to lean into change, to lean into that edge of your comfort zone. I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Pisces. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Pisces, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, endings and beginnings, two, values, and three, your social circles and your connections, maybe even a dream that you have. Now, let's talk about why. This week, Mercury is going to move into a very private part of your chart that represents spiritual things or subconscious matters, things that you do behind the scenes and maybe do not share with other people. But it's also an area of your life that welcomes endings and beginnings because it knows that they are one and the same. You're going to be able to use Mercury's intellect to process how you can move through these transitions. The very first conversation that Mercury has is with Pluto. So you can expect some pretty deep and profound thoughts or ideas to surface. Be sure to follow any trigger because they're going to lead you to treasures and ideas about how to proceed from here. Now this week, your heart is going through a couple of questions. It's trying to understand that all the ideas and the actions that you've taken have the best intentions behind them. So Venus, who is focused on your dreams, your social networks, is questioning if your values are aligned, if you have everything that you need to go out on this adventure. See this as an invitation to take action, to invest in something that you are passionate about. And your heart will come to that conclusion as there, as Venus makes a trine to Uranus. So it's likely that you're going to find support or a breakthrough or a brilliant idea right there in your local environment, something that you do habitually or go to, speak to, eat day in and day out. Now, that same area is going to be activated by the sun. The sun is still working behind the scenes around that area that has a lot to do with endings and beginnings and foundations. But there is a sudden breakthrough here. There's an idea. Something impossible becomes possible. And you feel ignited and excited about making these changes because you know that they are needed and that they are healthy and they're going to set you up for success. And trust that they will. I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Aries. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Aries, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, reputation, your values, that sense of purpose, two, allies, your dreams, your networks, people that you associate with, and three, individuality, that self-expression, this is who I am. Now, let's talk about why. This week, Mercury is going to move into an area that supports your dreams, your connections, those allies, people you stand shoulder to shoulder with. And it's also in trying with partnerships, one-to-one connections, and what you do day in and day out. So there's going to be some great ideas that can start to surface in these areas. Because Mercury's first conversation is with Pluto, there could be some pretty profound and deep and enriching conversations that are happening. There may be a couple of power struggles, or you may be trying to understand where your power is in the group dynamic. Stay curious and focus on your long-term intentions, and you will do well. Now, this week, your heart-centered energy is double-checking everything that your mindset and your courage put into place last week. So you may find that when it comes to career matters, your reputation or something with authority figures, that you're trying to question if they are in line with who you really are. This is how the world knows me, but is that who I really am? And there's a bit of an activation here. There's an invitation to take action to ensure that these two are aligned and they also support your home work-life balance and your partnerships, but definitely your overall fire and karma that energy that says, this is what I'm supposed to do. And I do think that you're going to find that you are feeling a healthy flow as the week moves on because Venus will try and Uranus. 
And this will highlight your earning power, your self-esteem, your skill sets. This is going to be new ways to bring in those resources, but also to amplify the ways that you are already bringing in those resources. So your overall health and wealth is one of the things that you'll be focusing on this week. And as we end this week, the sun, your network, your friends, and your allies are also going to activate your values and your resources. And you may find that your friends are your greatest allies during this time of change, or you may find that there is a need for a profound change. But trust your values, trust your overall long-term goals as far as what you need to feel healthy, to feel wealthy on every level of your life, and you will do well. I hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Taurus. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Taurus, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, your reputation, how you're known in the world, that sense of purpose, two, your home and work-life balance, and three, new directions, what you seek, what you want to teach, how you want to be known. Now, let's talk about why. This week, we have Mercury moving into an area of your life that supports your reputation, how you're known in the world, authority figures. It's in flow with your overall health and wealth. Mercury is going to give you a lot of innovative ideas that you can put into place. It's going to help you see that long-term goal, the wide vision. And because Mercury's first conversation is with Pluto, some of these insights could be very profound. You may realize where you are surrendering power, how you are using your power, and if you like that or do not like how you're using your power, you're going to have a beautiful mindset about what to do from this point, which is great because your heart is double-checking all the decisions that you have already made thanks to Venus. Now, Venus is still focused on your convictions and your beliefs, what you want to seek, what you are teaching to others. And right now, this planet wants to ensure that your karmic path is aligned, that you are set to take action that is healthy and is going to support the long-term goal. And I think as you move through this week, as you take healthy karmic actions, you're going to find that you are aligned because Venus will be in flow with Uranus, who is focused on individuality, that self-expression that breakthrough new you that is trying to surface. And this is that same area that the sun is going to activate as we finish out the week. There could be a little bit of push and pull between this is how people know me and this is who I really am. But I think you're starting to understand the balance between the two of those. Just stay true to yourself and you will have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Gemini. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Gemini, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, new directions, two, seeking and teaching, three, transformation, endings and beginnings. Now, let's talk about why. This week, Mercury is going to move into an area of your life that supports new horizons, what you seek, what you teach, your convictions, how you can take your knowledge and share it with more people. So publishing is included. And there's going to be a lot of innovative ideas that you can pull from, a beautiful vision of how everything can fit together. And one of the first conversations Mercury will have is with Pluto. Some of these insights that you're getting are going to be very deep and profound. They're going to help you see how the power is balanced when it comes to this area of your life. Other energies that you're going to work with this week is Venus. Your heart is checking what your mind and your actions did the prior week. You're wanting to make sure that you are aligned. And as we move through the week, I do think that you're going to find that that is true. But the legacy that you're a part of, your shared wealth, this transformation that you have committed to could feel activated by a dream that you have or a network that you're already associated with. Activated as in it's not sure that you're aligned or activated as because of this, you definitely need to take action. The true question is, are your actions aligned with a healthy karmic path? And if that answer is yes, keep going. If it's not, adjust and then keep going. Venus will be in trine with Uranus by the end of the week. So you're going to find a healthy, grounded, yet breakthrough way to work through both endings and beginnings, transformations, legacies, foundations, all of those things that you need behind the scenes in order to be brilliantly successful out there in the world. Now, that same private area of your life is going to be activated by the sun this week, too. I encourage you to look for a lot of inspiration, sudden insights, follow any triggers, follow inspiration, because some of these answers, this enlightenment that you're going to work with this week is going to come from within a very private, deep space within. So be sure to slow down and look inward and you'll have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Cancer. Let's take a look at your week. Now, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, endings and beginnings, transformation, two, shared wealth, and three, your partnerships, your one-to-one connections. 
Now let's talk about why. This week, Mercury is moving into an area of your life that supports your legacy, transformation, deep, intimate bond, and shared wealth. As Mercury moves into this area of your life, inspiration, being able to see the big picture vision, but all the details and how everyone and everything connects in this area of your life is going to be likely. There's going to be a lot of great ideas, especially around shared wealth. So some of the things that come up could be extremely deep and profound, something that needs to be processed, a rebalance of power within or without in this legacy that you are building or the legacy that you come from. It's important to hold your long-term vision in mind. Why are you making the changes that you're making now? Where are they coming from? Are they coming from a soul deep part of you? Are they coming from the ego? Because that's going to make all the difference. Now, Venus, your heart space is still working with Capricorn, but this week is going to be checking to make sure that you're aligned. The, one of the first transits that Venus has this week is a square with the North Node. Now, Venus is focused on your one-to-one -one partnerships, but she's activating your reputation, that sense of purpose. And the question is, are your partnerships aligned with where that karmic path is taking you with every corner of your life? What your answer, whatever you find here is either going to give you a green light to go yes or a green light to take action and correct things so you can go forward very soon. Venus is going to work through this energy, but it's also going to be in trying with Uranus this week, which means that you are feeling aligned or there's a breakthrough idea around a dream that you have or around a network that you have. There's something that's impossible that becomes possible or is in flow, like you are leaning into this change. It's more comfortable for you to do that. And I encourage you to do that. I think that your networks and your dreams and how you communicate your voice is going to be an ally for you, something that you can count on as you work with all of these changes. And that same area, that network, that group of friends could feel a little bit activated by a legacy or a transformation that you're going through. In other words, what's going on behind the scenes is automatically being reflected out into the world. So you're having conversations or you're thinking about things privately. And then you see this surface in another way when it comes to your dream, your friends, or your network. And that reflection is to help you understand how you can process and heal both sides, public matters and private matters. I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Leo. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Leo, your top three focuses are going to be one, your partnerships, one-to-one -one connections, two, your health and your wealth. And three, your reputation, your career, that sense of purpose. Now let's talk about why. This week, Mercury is going to move into an area of your life that supports your one-to-one -one partnerships. But because it's here, it amplifies almost every corner of your life. Definitely your daily routines, how your network and how you communicate, but also your homework life balance and that ability to be an individual inside of these partnerships. There's going to be a lot of brilliant ideas. Thinking outside of the box is going to help you with every one of these areas. With that being said, the first conversation that Mercury has is with Pluto. It's likely that some of the first ideas that you come up with are going to be profound and very deep, and you may be considering where the power lies in your relationships, how it's balanced, what needs to change. There could be a tug of war here and there, but your objective with this energy is to note where you are, note what needs to be changed, and hold that long-term vision in mind. That's going to get you to the solution that you are seeking. Now, your heart is going to be double checking everything that those actions and your mindset did last week. So Venus is going to square the North Node. And when Venus does this, what we're looking at is, is what I do every day? Is this work, this habit, this ritual I have going to get me to that new horizon that I have my eye on? What do I need to change? What do I need to activate day in and day out to get to where that end goal is? And I encourage you to ask those questions. I think you're going to find some great answers and you'll know how to act or to revise so you can take action. As we move towards the end of the week, Venus will be in trying with Uranus. And this really activates your overall health and your wealth, your reputation, because you have two houses that support health and wealth that are being lit up by this energy. Venus is in a very practical mindset and Uranus in Taurus is also thinking very practically but willing to break the status quo in order to make the impossible possible. Look for the invitation to lean outside of your comfort zone because that's where you're going to find a lot of magic this week. I do hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi Virgo, let's take a look at your week. Now Virgo, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, what you're passionate about, what you love without condition two, your rituals and your habit, and three, a transformation or a legacy that you are working through. Now let's talk about why. Mercury, your ruling planet, is going to move into an area of your life that supports daily habits, those rituals that you have, what you do in service to others in order to earn or to 
amplify your reputation. And with Mercury in this area, it's great for brilliant ideas to see the whole picture, how everything works together to be innovative. Now, that's going to be very helpful. Something to consider is the first conversation that Mercury has is with Pluto. So conversations about power, how you use your power, what needs to be rebalanced, Even some conversations about ego and purpose, soul and ego could come up. And what's important is to name what is bothering you, to establish what needs to be changed, and then think about how you can make those changes. And once you do, hold your long-term goal in mind, and you will be there before you know it. Now, your heart is just double-checking this week everything that your mindset and your courage took action on last week. So you may find that you are somewhat questioning how your passions, what you love without condition, is aligned with the legacy that you are a part of or that you are building, what actions you need to take to make sure that these two areas of your life are supporting each other and not working against each other. Be sure to ask a lot of questions and take healthy actions that support the long-term plan. Now, by the end of the week, Venus will be in trine with Uranus, and this is going to activate that new direction, something that has to do with seeking, teaching, this new direction that you have been working on for a long time. I think you're going to find a lot of healthy breakthroughs, a flow that you can lean into. And I want you to hold on to that because the sun is going to activate this same area of your life, but not in quite a friendly manner. The sun is asking, what do we need to do? What's left to do? It's looking for action-oriented tasks to make sure that you are on track. One thing to keep in mind is that there is going to be this urge to hurry up and wait. And I want you to ensure that as you are waiting, that you are taking care of yourself, that you are nurturing yourself. So that when the time comes to rush, you have everything to support you in the short term and the long term. I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Libra. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Libra, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, your passions, what you love without condition. Two, transformation, that legacy point that you are still focused on. And three, your foundations and your partnerships, who you connect with one-on-one. Now let's talk about why. This week, Mercury is going to move into an area of your life that supports what you love without condition. These are people, places, and things, your entrepreneurship, something that exists because you exist. This is going to be a great energy to help you see how all the pieces fit together and to plan long-term in an innovative, out-of-the-box kind of way. Now, one thing to consider is once Mercury moves into this area of your life, the first conversation we'll have is with Pluto. So issues of power, how balanced it is when it comes to this passion that you have could come up. And it's important to name it, to identify it. And once you do that, you'll be able to use Mercury to find solutions about how to resolve this, how to rebalance this in this area of your life. Now, this week, your ruling planet Venus will square the North Node. And Venus is trying to ensure that your foundations and your partnerships are on the same page, or at least actively taking action together that's going to support your home work-life balance, your partnerships, and your individuality. It's important to ask those questions. Are you on the right karmic path? What do you need to do to change this to make sure that you are? Venus will also try in Uranus this week, which means those same foundational areas are going to feel like they're in flow with all the breakthrough transformations, the endings and the beginnings, topics of shared wealth and loans and transformation. It's going to feel like it's finally working for you. And I want you to lean into that, lean into the opportunities that surface out of nowhere and focus on that because the sun is going to activate that same area. The sun is wanting to ensure that your passions are well supported in your legacy. So the invitation this week is to seek a healthy harmony and balance, which if anyone can do, it is you, Libra. I hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Scorpio. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Scorpio, your top three focuses are going to be one, your roots and your foundations, two, your partnerships, how you connect with other people, and three, your local vibes, how you communicate with one-to-one and in groups and just day in and day out. Now, let's talk about why. Now, Mercury is going to be moving into an area of your life that supports your foundations and your roots. And this could be something close to your home, but it does signify the foundational level of every area of your life. There's going to be a brilliant intellect that can see how everything connects, what needs to change, and how you can change it, not just in the short term, but also in the long term. You can expect some pretty profound and deep conversations that come up, probably from some topics that have been buried for a long time, and it's important to bring them to the top. It's important to identify them, see them for what they are, so you can strategically plan on how we can move through this, how we can rebalance power so that every side is set up for healthy growth and that karmic path that we are on. 
Now, speaking of karmic past, this week, Venus will square the North Node. Now, Venus is still focused on your day in and day out rituals, how you communicate. And the question is that rhythm and flow with the work that you do, the karmic path that you were on. Is there something that you need to adjust to support this? Or is there an action that you can take now to ensure that that karmic path of change to pave a new path is ready to go? Now, Venus will also try in Uranus this week, and Uranus is focused on that area that you've been building for a while now, and that has to do with your partnerships, those one-to-one clients that you work with or one-to-one relationships. I love how you have this practical flow with this grounded nature that has the opportunity to bring some unexpected breakthroughs to you. I want you to focus on what you love in this area because the sun will square this area. The sun is at your foundations. It's looking for an activation from these partnerships. It's saying, okay, now that we have this foundation, what partners can I count on to support me? And in order to answer that question, you have to know what is speaking to your heart. I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Sagittarius. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Sagittarius, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, your rituals, two, communication, and three, wealth. Now let's talk about why. This week, Mercury is going to move into an area of your life that's focused on your daily rituals, your habits, who you communicate with, and what you do day in and day out. And this energy is going to bring a lot of great inspiration, some breakthrough ideas, the ability to see the big picture and how everything connects and how you can pragmatically follow this path. So there could be some pretty deep, profound conversations that come up or a reassessment of where the power lies in this area of your life. What needs to be rebalanced? What needs to be named so we can solve it as we move forward? Now, speaking of moving forward, Venus will square the North Node this week. And right now, Venus is focused on your values, your wealth, how you support yourself, your resources. And it's trying to ensure that this is in line with your passions, that you have everything you need to follow that karmic path that speaks to your soul. So ask those questions, walk with action points that need to be taken. You're looking for long-term solutions that are going to launch you into the future. I do think you're going to find some breakthrough ideas working with Venus this week. There's a lot of opportunity for sudden breakthroughs, the impossible becoming possible when it comes to two of your health and wealth sectors. So I'm really excited about that for you. Now, one thing to consider here is that same work that you do, the tasks that you do are also going to be activated by square from the sun. The sun is focused on your daily routines, those rituals, and is trying to figure out if those rituals are in line with the work that you do. Is there anything you can do to make these two easier? Or it could feel like there's a sudden rush, like you have to get things done. And it's always good to feel that fire, to feel busy, and to hold the big vision in mind. But you want to ensure that both your short term and your long term are supporting you. That's what the sun and Venus are trying to make sure are being applied to the work that you do in service to others. So ask some healthy questions and you will have a good week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Capricorn. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Capricorn, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, your values, what's important to you, two, your self-expression, your individuality, and how that impacts your home and work-life balance and your partnerships, and three, your passions, what feeds and speaks to your soul. Now, let's talk about why. This week, Mercury will leave your sign and move into an area of your life that supports your values, your self-esteem, your skill set. What is a resource to you? And with Mercury here, there is an opportunity to see the big picture, to see how everything connects and come up with some brilliant out-of-the-box ideas that may have escaped you before. Now, one of the first conversations that Mercury is going to have is with Pluto. This energy is going to invite in a profound depth when it comes to your money, to your resources. You may deeply be considering how the power here is balanced, what you surrender your power to, what has power over you, and how you can adjust this. Thankfully, Mercury is brilliant, and you're going to be able to start working through how to balance and readjust the power in this area of your life. It could take you a little bit of time, but knowing the big picture of you, getting some great ideas on the ground and building from them is what you want to work on this week. Now, this week, Venus is still in your sign and double checking the actions that you have taken last week and ensuring that it feels aligned. So Venus will square the North Node. So there's a little bit of question between who am I and the foundations I have? Is everything karmically aligned? Ask solid questions. Take actions where you need to. That'll help support your home work-life balance, your partnerships, and your individuality. Now, Venus will be in trine with Uranus. So this is where your passions are, what you love without condition, your entrepreneurships. There's likely to be some brilliant breakthrough ideas, the impossible becoming possible when it comes to this area of your life. 
no matter what the change is in this area, I encourage you to welcome it in and to see what you can build with it. Now, this same area of your life is going to be activated by the sun. The sun is focused on your values and your resources and is trying to question how this is aligned with your passions. There's a bit of a let's take action or let's take a step back. Let's reassess it. And your goal here is to ensure that whatever action you take supports you in the short term and the long term. There are no easy fixes when it comes to these matters because they're too close to your heart. They're too important to you. So we don't want to make any decision lightly, but we don't want to stand still either. It's going to be a delicate dance, but I'm sure that you will master it. I hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I do hope you found some tips and insights. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you can find this podcast in the future. You can also connect with me at schedulingfate.com. I look forward to seeing you there and next time.